Francesca Albanese is the uh, special rapporteur for human rights at the United Nations, and she has been working on a report on what's happening in Gaza, and she entitled it The Anatomy of a, a Genocide. And she said the word genocide. This is a, a really important report uh, within the context of the United Nations, and she was she, she didn't hold back um and and said this is the some of the worst humanity can offer um in, in what she saw there after she made her announcement about her findings a german reporter questioned her and asked her whether she had sufficient evidence to deem this a genocide and i found her answer to be as straightforward and as clear as it gets and you're quoting uh, the president of Israel, the prime minister, the defense minister, and uh, some uh, top militaries. Um, but these are only quotes uh, given in speeches or in other circumstances. I would like to ask you, do you have a written document by the government which a with a clear intent to commit genocide. Do you think that in Rwanda and in Bosnia Herzegovina any government officials wrote, wrote a document saying I want to commit genocide? Have you seen anything like that? I'll, I'll answer this for you. No, it doesn't work like that. There is, those statements are just the tip of the iceberg because I have a word limit in, uh, in my reports, which is quite strict. Otherwise, we could write an encyclopedia with what has been said and done. And I said it, and I mean it. The, if the International Criminal Court is serious about investigating what Israel has done in Gaza, as of the 7th of October, only as of the 7th of October, it will be busy for decades. So that is just the, exactly right. That is exactly right. Um, I mean, that is, we had uh, Hanno uh, Hauenstein on, who is a German reporter. We had him on a few weeks ago just to speak about Germany's relationship with the state of Israel. Besides the United States, Germany, I think, is the number two or number three, one of the top weapons dealers to the state of Israel, which if... Uh, to borrow an old uh, Norm Macdonald bit, a bit, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not a history buff, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I have an understanding of what Germany was complicit in, in terms of the genocide that they committed against the Jews, millions and millions of Jews and uh, uh, other groups as well, the Roma, LGBTQ people, targeted, massacred, exterminated by the, G the, the German government. And instead of reparations coming from the Germans in the form of like, I, I don't know, continued financial reparations or um, other uh, other ways to repair the in, in, incredible harm that they have done to millions and millions of people, they have outsourced it to the Palestinians and says, well, you know, you bear the brunt of our crimes. And that is... I think so apparently just so central right now to the to to the German power structure because they can't even really acknowledge it uh the the what the reality of what they've done or actually you know Bear, bear are the doing of it. right continuing to not actually uh make amends for i mean and the the idea that there is not explicit statements of intent here is just it, that exists nowhere in reality except on the adl um talking points list that media assets get uh, this is just a guy um we'll go to this here bradley can you hit a translate bio on this fella here um uh, Deputy Speaker of the Knesset, member of the Foreign Affairs and Security Committee, the 23rd uh, Knesset and the 25th Knesset. Now, Bradley, go to that tweet that I have of this fella, and don't translate it right away. Okay, look at that. That's in Hebrew. Nice. Uh, now, translate post for me, Bradley. 
Uh, he says, erase Gaza. Nothing else will satisfy us. It is not acceptable that we have a terrorist authority next to Israel. Do not leave a child there to expel all the remaining ones at the end so that they will not have a resurrection. So, like, it, 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 it's a waste of time and breath. And it, that yeah, was on people's October, attention. Excuse, excuse me, uh, sir, Matt Leck. Can you uh, please point me to the official government document that has those words? Otherwise, I don't believe <laughs> That's it. just a tweet. <laughs> she didn't say, or he didn't say genocide, so... The exact- Exact same, really the exact same type of denialism is uh, used to throw sand people's uh, in sand people's eyes over the actual Holocaust and Shoah. Well, that's my other question: is was you know th- the Germans, the Nazis, talked over and over again about the final solution, the final solution, the final solution? But you know, Holocaust what, deniers was, lean on the same lack of was it direct, a gen- right? Yeah. Right, because they didn't say genocide and the final solution. It really is despicable and Absolutely. despicable, especially coming from a. German reporter. Yeah. And a, a, a Berlin newspaper too. I, a, one of the bigger ones. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it, it is, we are surrounded by people who will echo this and, um, uh, in, in our media and ecosystem as well. And they should be treated with the utmost hostility, hostility and lack of respect because the, what they are is the modern uh, version of Holocaust deniers. And I will also say, okay, one more thing. Um, I do think that comparing Hamas or like the threat of the Palestinian resistance to that of Nazis and the Holocaust is also Holocaust denial. It's Nazi shit. It's Nazi. St- it's all. It's Holocaust revisionism at its best and Holocaust denial at its worst. Because what you are doing is completely disassociating the context and the reality of what the Nazi ideology was, which was a extreme far right nationalist ideology that came not from space, but from political situations and from, in, uh, you know, uh, in a reality that was less than a hundred years ago. And some of those systems are still in existence to this day. So when you make those assertions about resistance to the settler colonial state of of Israel, what you're doing is downplaying the political realities that gave rise to the Nazis and to one of the worst crimes that has ever been inflicted upon humanity in the Holocaust. You water it down and you muddy the waters and you make it unclear to people from a historical context. It's really, really disgusting. So... All right, let's take a call. That's a great, great point. Yeah, let's take a call. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Bender. Thank you very much. 